Hi, it's Eric. I am uh, doing an experiment here. It's um, Friday, February. Uh, now I'm like, oh, I should straighten my shirt. It's Friday, February 26th, 2001. Uh, a couple years ago, my brother and I went to the local Museum of the Moving Image, which is in Astoria. And it's a wonderful museum. You should go if you have not been. But they had a temporary exhibit about internet movies like the sort of things that didn't exist until youtube made made them possible you know the short things that people just whipped together and one of the things which i mean i'm internet savvy i go on youtube all the time but i had never heard of unpacking videos or unboxing unboxing videos where someone films themselves getting a new iphone and taking it out of the box and reading stuff and i was like i didn't get it at all um, I was like, I could see maybe why you would mix one, but why would people watch one? I don't know. Um, but I just blew a gift certificate that I got for Valentine's Day on a toy. And I'm really excited about this toy because it's really goofy and I just want to see what it's like. And so I'm making an unboxing video and probably later I'll make a video using the thing, which you're going to see in a minute. So... This is the J-Horn. There we go, J-Horn. It's a plastic brass instrument, and I know that doesn't make a lot of sense. Brass instrument in that it's played like brass instruments, you buzz your lips. Just like a saxophone is a woodwind instrument, even though it's made out of brass. This is a brass instrument, even though it's made out of plastic. They've been coming up with a lot of plastic brass instruments a lot this isn't made for performance at all it's made for kids it's made for kind of getting kids used to uh, brass instruments it's cheap it's plastic uh, what does the box say brass training instrument in b flat or c 100 percent waterproof you can take it in the pool with you uh, and easy to maintain patented rotary face valve technology multi-cup mouthpiece design stylish case with carry strap and variable, available in four color options. I got the white one with the blue. Leaflet and figuring charts included. Suitable for five years old to adult. So, now we're going to open this thing up because I'm really excited about this. Okay. Well, this opened up really very easily. This is... Oh, it's all just... This is it. This goes away. Nice, nice little case, actually. I thought it was going to be a little speedier than this. That's fun. It's got a little... It, yeah, I guess it's just... Oh, I see. Let me do that. That's fun. A name on it. So, okay. Oh, it does have straps. Like, you, I was I was joking, like, can you make this new backpack? It is a backpack. There's straps, so the straps must be inside. All right, so here we have the instrument. Oh, and other stuff. I'll pull out the rest of the stuff in a minute. This is the horn. It's in plastic. Yeah, this is one of the straps. I'll put that aside for now. <laughs> it looks like a 3D printed baritone horn. Valves. Okay. I assume it has no tuning slides because that would be crazy. It has, it has, um, it has valve slides, but they're not, I think they're too long, look that up. I'm, um, anyway, so, here's the horn, and I'll play it in just a bit, but I'm going to put that down and see what else is in the box. So, let's just put that here for the moment. Oh, it, it looks like, yeah, I tried to stand it on its bell, it doesn't work, so we're just going to put it on its side for now. Let me get the chair. Um bag is gone. That's the garbage. Um, okay, so we have in the... Oh, these are the... Oh, I see. Okay, so you can set this... It lives in B-flat, which is what a, a baritone horn would be in, but you can also set it in C. Um, so these must be alternate tuning slides for when it's in C. I'm guessing. Here's the instruction booklet. And I think, oh, well, there must be mouthpieces. Oh, mouthpieces. Oh, here we go. Okay, so 
that's the case. It's actually kind of nice. Put that aside. So what does this say? Um, the design challenge. We set out to create our first brass instrument with some clear objectives. Like all Nouveau instruments, and they've got a bunch of them, primary objective was that it should be suitable for beginners in the elementary junior classroom. We wanted to perform at a level that inspires young beginners while also providing a fun practice instrument. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. All right, so body, multi-cup mouthpiece, compact huggable design, light touch sort of travel. Oh, there's a water valve. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, that's, is that what this is? Oh, I see. The um, the second valve, you can pull in and out to tune it. The first and third valves get replaced with these, and then there's a tuning slide that gets out here. That gets pulled out. This this is the, uh, I guess, the body, main body slide? Okay. We're not going to do anything with it. We're just going to leave it alone for now. Uh, okay, 100% waterproof, can be fully immersed in hot, soapy water. Good to know. Remove the valve cover by twisting the locks and lifting the tab. So here are the valves. Oh, I see. You can unlock it with these uh, screws and then pop the whole thing off, I guess, to clean it. Okay, mouthpiece. Low, middle, hot. Okay, learning with the Jacob. Cool. Okay, so we're just going to put this aside and see what happens when we try to play it. So they've got three mouthpieces, but they're really just three rims. It's a kind of squishy rubber rim. Let's just go with the one that they started off with. <laughs> this is adorable. I love this. All right, I haven't played a brass instrument since last June, so I have no chops. Let's find out what happens. There we go. Well, I don't love the sound so far. Maybe, maybe we'll try one of these other ones. Oh, it just, it, it literally just kind of lifts off. Okay, so now I'm doing the biggest uh, lip rim. There we go, that's a little better. Oh, boy. That's not good, because it's leaking. Well, it's, it's responding the way a baritone horn would, so that's good. Uh, let's see. Let's see how high up we can get. Oh, no, it's opening up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so the suckiness may be me, not the horn. Yeah, of course it's not super responsive, but what do you expect? How does the um speed up work? Does it just turn up? Oh, I see. Yeah, so the spit valve, you just lift it up, and then you can just dump it, and then you put it back. So it's this little rubber thing. Okay. Let's see. Um, <laughs> nowhere near my birthday, so. <coughs> um, boy, my brain is uh, losing it. Let's see. 
It's cool. It's fun. Um, I could see bringing this on. It's very light. It's very light. I could see bringing this like on a hike or something like that, or you know, just to goof around on. I wouldn't really perform on this unless it was some sort of funny cabaret. Um, but it, I can see how very much this would be a great thing to give your small child if they want to actually play your euphonium and you're like, no, you're going to hurt it. Get them used to this, get them used to the basics, and give them a real instrument that really responds. This is cool. I like this. So, um, anyway, um, sure, this is going to be a fun, cute little thing to have. <laughs> 